I think a lot of the education actually comes from people like us uh, beating down their doors and telling them about our products, right? That's just because there is not a lot of um, education or, or um, forums out there. If you think about some of the bigger travel tech forums, they're, they're not necessarily that rich in data for the independent hotel. And so it's, it's quite hard if you think about it as an independent hotel. Where do I find this? I Google stuff and it's sponsored stuff. And it's like, well, what do I trust? What do I don't trust? Mm -hmm. So there are, there are certainly, um, you know, certainly research that they can do and trial, you know, trials of, of technology that they can do. But I think I think that the, the, what maybe a more key fundamental issue for independent hotels is they they slow will have tra traditionally been quite slow to adopt and just get the basics right. Like like I, I said to you, if people are still not mobile with their booking engine or their website, um, and maybe they're only on a half of the distribution channels they should be, probably the chatbot thing for them is like another step further away. And, and so a lot of hotels just trying to get online, trying to get the basics right, and that's what they should be focusing on. Um, in terms of the other technology and innovation within the independent space versus, and I hope this answers your question, but you know, innovation in the independent space versus the, the chain space is that I, I sort of, I've seen some really promising new applications sort of coming up um, of late, right? And I see that accelerating. Like there wasn't a hell of a lot to choose from in, in the past. And yeah. I see some really great, useful applications that may or may not appeal to certain segments of hotels. So I think, um, you know, ourselves, there's others out in the in the marketplace that are trying to embrace relationships with these with these applications and trying to support their connectivity to the PMS to enable them yeah. to, you know, to, 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 to sort of flourish. And I think connectivity is a really important thing in our industry in order to promote innovation. So that's the first thing. I think the technology that we haven't seen yet is going to be people having great ideas and building stuff that we don't haven't thought about yet, but it's it's going to still be based on basic connectivity to the hotel systems and that sort of thing. So I think fostering innovation takes connectivity. Yeah. Um, and so while the education piece is different, uh, is, is difficult, I think it's incumbent on People like yourself, people like us, who are you know, um, and other companies that are developing um, and merchandising other applications to start to educate um, or to help do our piece in helping you know educate what's out there and and really the job is also to make these things seamlessly work together because it's the friction is, is is an important thing. I think there's friction in today's market in terms of hotels adopting a new app, but the actual friction is not necessarily trying it out. It's like, well, it's quite difficult to get everything connected. And so it's not as easy to do it as, as you'd want to just quickly try it out. Oh, I like it, I'll buy it. So you really want to reduce that friction in, in the industry um, through connectivity, through maybe you know single sign-on and merchandising and working together with partners. So I'm, I mean, our approach is very open open approach, integrate, see if we can create seamless experiences for hoteliers. That's where I think it's moving and I think that will help foster uh, adoption and awareness.